Well, welcome everyone. I'm, I'm talking to Michael Soper today. Michael started learning guitar around a year ago or working with me on, on his guitar playing. So he's had a, a really interesting journey. He's made some really great progress. So again, I wanted to share that with you today. So I've got Michael on today to talk about his experiences and, and how it's gone so far with his guitar playing. So Michael, thanks very much for joining us. I, I really You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Oh, excellent. And let's, let's start with what, um, you know, way back to sort of this time last year, what was your, or, or before, what was your motivation for wanting to play the guitar? I think it was something I've always wanted to do. Uh, for some reasons, something always got in the way, job, kids, whatever, I never got around to it, you know, and when I retired, I managed to retire a few years early, I thought I'd get a hobby, <clears throat> and one of them was guitar playing. Uh, you know, I've always enjoyed music, singing along to music, you know, and I thought I want to be fantastic playing along with music that's really what I wanted to do just just play songs and sort of sing along to them if you like you know I'm not the greatest singer in the world but it's just something I enjoy just doing to myself if that makes sense and, and that's mainly the reason why I want to uh, pick up guitar playing really cool excellent yeah fantastic and where where were you with your guitar playing before you found my teaching and we started working together yeah. Before I found you, it was it was almost non-existent. I'd, I'd, I'd tried a few books, you know, I think I have still own a couple of guitar playing books and YouTube videos, you know, because there's a lot out there, you know, but they're not as easy to follow as you think. And I, uh, <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, one book, I, I pretty much in a couple of days, I was playing something called Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, you know, <laughs> and yeah, it did sound like it, you know, but it's not the... It's not what I wanted to play or hear, you know what I mean, or, or sing along to, you know, and that was just playing tabs, you know, but then it sort of got, uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the book, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all there, and I found it very difficult to follow and I got a bit frustrated with it, and, and then I gave up on it, to be honest with you. Uh, so I just wasn't really getting anywhere, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and sometimes... Um, well, I think it's it's important to be learning the kind of music you're interested in as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Twinkle, it, twinkle, yeah. Kind of you stuff. could tell it was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it wasn't really what I was interested in doing. You know, <laughs> might yeah. entertain grandkids for a while, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. oh, fair enough. Yeah. And yeah. Um, what? What? How come you decided to to work with me specifically? What? I think. Um, Funnily enough, I think I saw something, you talking to somebody like this, okay. but we're doing now, yeah. Uh, I can't remember who it was now, mm -hmm. but he was about my age and everything he said resonated with me. You know, he'd struggled with books, he'd been frustrated, uh, he hadn't managed to get along as he had, he wanted to, and then he followed your course and suddenly Django were coming together, he was playing songs, you know, and... and and that resonated with me, and that's basically when I first started, by obviously doing the Django course first. Mm -hmm. and that, that's funnily enough where it came from. That's why I was pleased to do this today, actually. Excellent, yeah, we've yeah. come, yeah. come full yeah. circle. Well, that, that's fantastic. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And, you know, hopefully yeah. some people will hear this and your experience will resonate with them and maybe they'll I hope so. yeah. Yeah. pick up the guitar if it's something they've, they've wanted to do. Yeah. Um, fantastic. Um, and what was your experience like during during the programme, working with me and stuff? Uh, 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 brilliant, really. I mean, I mean, because obviously you, you you start from the basic, even just holding a guitar, which you don't always think about. You know what I mean? Um, to stop strain injuries and all that, and even just to strum the guitar is, is where you start from. You know, stretching exercises, and you build all that in, and then obviously the chords. Yeah, they can be a bit frustrating sometimes. They take a while to to come, but become second nature eventually you know eventually i was playing django chords without even looking at what i was doing which i didn't even realize uh till i put a post out once and somebody said look at yourself back you're not even watching yourself changing chords you know and i watched myself and i was quite amazed i wasn't even looking at the chords i was just doing them like second nature you know and that was that felt really fantastic actually that's that felt like i was getting somewhere so uh you know yeah yeah obviously the structure of it as well, particularly at the moment, I'm on the yellow pick level. Mm -hmm. I'm just on the last chord set, actually, F major seven set. Okay. I'm there now, yeah. And that's very nicely structured. Each chord it, it builds up, doesn't it? You, you you pick it up, 
get to the, almost the end. Well, I'm almost at the end of the yellow pick level at the moment, you know. So it's a, it's a structure that you can pick up if you're struggling. We can always come back to you on a post or, mm-hmm. or Tuesday night lessons or whatever, you know. Um, so there's always, and there's a lot of help and support there, you know, on your timeline questions. So uh, that's that's my experience. It's, it's fantastic, to be honest with you. Cool. But I never got this far, I don't think. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you're, you're making really great progress. I can really yeah. agree with covering all of white pick level, learning a variety of songs at that level and really building those foundations yeah. to your guitar playing. That's, you know, gonna, gonna affect everything you do on the guitar, getting those from the posture and the positioning. And it stuff. does. Yeah. Yeah. Really fantastic. And all the way through yellow pick level as well, in terms of the chord sets and stuff and mm-hmm. playing songs at that level It's it's great progress. Like I'm, I think, I think Thank you've done great. Yeah, yeah. What, do you remember the first song that you learned to play? It was it was Stand By Me, uh, the John Lennon version. Uh, oh, yeah. I think the main reason I picked it, I, I asked advice on guitar guitar in questions. Quite a few people recommended it. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> to be honest, now I would recommend it to people as a first song. It's a great starter song. You know, obviously it's like you say, straight eight, strumming pattern. Um, <clears throat> It's just three chords, you know, so it's quite, not not saying simple, but it's a good starting point to get under your belt, you know, before you can go on to other songs. You know, I think the second one I did was uh, Lighting Eyes by the Eagles, you know, which is a great song. Yeah, slightly more difficult because the the, um, choruses are a bit longer and there are quite long choruses on that one, remember, right, you know. But but I still got there, you know, because it was something... I'd always want to be able to play something like that, like the Eagles or something, you know. So it felt really great, <laughs> to be honest with you, doing that. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. That's that's the that's the stuff, isn't it? Like really, really <laughs> yeah, really. Good. And then obviously you do your uh, your songs on Thursdays, and sometimes there's ones I can't resist, and I've got to pick them up. And, and let's say when I was talking by email last week, I suddenly counted up. I'm on 18 songs now. How did I get there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's super. Really <laughs> yeah, it's great. Quite do you, do you remember the some of the other songs that you've learned? Um, uh, I don't know if I wrote them down somewhere. I had a list of them. I forgot where I put it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I can give me a list. Okay. Uh, Lion Eyes. Uh, I did Sunshine on the Leaf. Mm-hmm. I, I remember just that singing along to that. Yeah, I posted that. That was the first one I sang to. Right. Uh, Sloop John B, Beach Boys. Uh, well, what I tried to do is, because um, I'd done the uh, Essential Strumming course, Mm-hmm. I was trying to make sure I at least covered a different song in each of the strumming patterns. Great. If, yeah. if I was good. So that's like Mad World, that was a different song. It's just four to the floor, but it was something different, you know. Uh, knocking on Evan's Door, which I think a lot of people do for Miss Two, which is a great, great one to do. I think I did I Love You Because, which is a cast based song. Um, and I've seen, well, a lot of recent ones you've done, two out of three ain't bad. Come resist doing that. I don't know why. <laughs> Meet low stay. And shallow it was a great song to do, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the last four yellow picks have been King of the Road. I think I posted them all actually. Leaving yeah, on Jet King, Heroes. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, I'm trying to do that Dublin Blues at the moment, which you oh, did cool. last week. I couldn't resist it. It's such a cool song. Yeah, never really really. it was a great song. So I'm trying to do that at the moment. So you know, so. Yeah, it's it's nice to be able to to pick them up and play them. You know, people recognise them as songs. <laughs> so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's superb. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna look at the other some of the other details of King of the Road as well. And not oh, King yeah. of the Road, sorry, Dublin Blues. This Dublin week. Blues. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. I hadn't really heard of the song before, so it's great to be interested. I've never heard it as well. No, just, really, it's really. a great resonant song, isn't it? You know, it's got something about it. I don't know. Really yeah. lovely, and it's sort yeah. of nice to. Um, I like the in, sort of how international it is. Like it's kind of a blues song. Yeah. It's an American guy He's talking about Austin a little bit, and yeah. Texas, which is obviously you know one of the homes of the blues. But he's also talking about his experience in Dublin, and it's got this kind of sort of Irish yeah. aspect as well. It's really really cool. It's a sort of mixture. Yeah, excellent stuff. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I say, yeah. Uh, I think I told you. I mean, I was. I was showing my grandparents some, uh, sorry, my parents, <laughs> the uh, some pictures. Well, it was a picture of the kids, and then I, there was one of me playing the guitar, so I just played it to them, and, and they didn't believe it was me. <laughs> so I showed them the picture, you know. 
So that felt quite good. Yeah, because they thought it was quite too good to be me. <laughs> at the time. So uh, I thought it was quite funny. <laughs> but yeah, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that's a great yeah. reflection. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Cool. So Wow, that, that that's great. And what in order to get get as far as you have, what what does your practice look like? Um, you know, how many times a week are you picking it up and for how long, that sort of thing? Yeah. Um well, at the moment, because we're also doing yellow pig, uh, I've just basically done a, a sort of maybe 15 minutes in the morning. So you've done the structure, that be the fret and reset, you know, 10 check changes or the one minute movements. So I stuck to that and just left it. And then in the sort of evening, probably 30, 40 minutes playing songs, you know, and then physically maybe practicing a song that I don't know at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, but then again, I'll still have a little bit of a session just playing one of the songs that I do know, if that makes sense. So it's, it's probably an hour and a quarter most days, not particularly every day, but virtually every day. You know, I try to pick it up for maybe 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the best way, you know, particularly if you're doing the Olympic, you can be quite strained doing the bit and then doing maybe songs at the same time. I think you're better off splitting it up a little bit mm-hmm. so you don't get too frustrated with it. And, and yeah, that's the, that's the thing, really. I think don't get frustrated because you don't pick it up straight away, you know. I mean, yellow pick, everyone's got a chord that's a bit harder than the other chords, but you get there at the end, you know, you, you keep doing it, you keep doing it, and it suddenly it falls into place. Yeah, so that, that's the practice, really, you know, not doing too much at the same at once, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's great. I, I agree, like, some little chunks. The frequency is important if you can pick it up every day little yeah. chunks of stuff and and i really like the way you've separated it like that that's a really important kind of mm. sort of advice for anyone who's learning that you separate the playing and the practicing a little bit it doesn't have to be in time but you know obviously you're yeah. if you're learning say at yellow pick level or you learn something a bit more advanced that's your practice and you're working through new things which are quite you know they can be challenging and so you also have a period of time where you're just playing the songs that you can play and you're enjoying it and it's familiar yeah. So you've got the practice yeah. and the playing as separate things, which is great. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, really, really good, good approach yeah. there, definitely. Um, would you would you recommend my teaching and, and the program? Uh, absolutely, yeah, definitely. I, I mean, obviously, I've signed up for a second year on the program anyway, um, so obviously that recommends it itself. Yeah, but I would recommend it to everybody because it's it's more structured, it's much easier to follow. There's backup there all the time. You know, it's a lot easier to follow than a, a book or a YouTube video, if you like. And you know, there are hundreds of them out there. Mm. Um, because it has a very structured level you go from, you know, and you gradually pick it up. So, yeah, that's why I'd absolutely recommend it. Yeah. Excellent. Great. And I'm, I'm looking forward to a, another year of progress as well. That, that's fantastic. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> uh, more yellow and into the orange and just learn, learning right. more songs and things. That's the aim soon. Just want to do a few more yellow pig songs and then um, start delving into your orange. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. And it, it, does the finger style stuff interest you? We do some of that at orange. I've never tried it yet, but it does. Yeah, yeah, because it always looks quite cool, doesn't it? You know, I mean, you could you could just sit on a chord and finger style and it sounds pretty, you know, like there's a nice room going there. So. I haven't tried anything like that yet, um, but yes, but it does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, superb. Let's well, let's uh, let's sort of put that as a as a goal for this year. I will. Yeah, that's so, a good goal. Yeah. Cool. Lovely stuff. And what advice do you have for for any beginner who's learning to play guitar? Uh, main advice: don't get frustrated if you're not picking it up straight away. You know, there's a chord I can out and just get it. My fingers catching it. I've had, I've done all that myself. You know. Uh, but it will come. Yeah, it'll come. And um, the other difficult thing is, obviously, it's it's not always easy to just do a post on guitar learning questions, but I would recommend people try that. Yeah, the first post I put was just the strumming pans, which is a lot easier, you know, and you get nice comments from it. Um, and and I've enjoyed that. Those comments have meant a lot to me when I put posts out, you know, everybody's come on. Which is why I do that now. You know, if I see a beginner, <laughs> so let's say on yellow, uh, white pick, sorry, um, I put comments on because I know what they're meant to mean. You know, so I try to support those people now that are coming through, just just going through the Django cars, let's say, and they get frustrated. I think I was the same. 
So uh, that that would be a recommend. Be be. It's a big thing to do, but try and do a post. You know, of your playing. You know, because you'll you'll be re- you'll love the comments, and it'll help you a lot, and it'll mean a lot to you. Yeah, fantastic. That's great advice. Abs- I absolutely agree with you there. <laughs> like you said, it doesn't have to be a, a whole song or anything like that. It can be no. a fragment, it can be a rhythm, and you'll get so much encouragement and support from, yeah. from the community, which is a you know a big yeah. part of what we do. Like you guys, yeah. encouraging each other is, is huge. Yeah, it um, gives you a boost. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Lovely stuff, Michael. I, I really appreciate doing this. It's really, really Welcome. great to speak to you. And, and dive into some more of the details to, to share with everyone and yeah really looking forward to um this year and, and helping you out with, with more progress and you know let, let's maybe have a chat this time next yeah. year as well and see see how you're doing then let's know i can do a post on finger picking soon <laughs> yeah that'll be excellent all right lovely stuff all. okay thank, thank you very much, much. yeah